the producer of Independence Day. Here we go. We're rolling. Travel beyond the drama and onto the set of the TNT original, The Librarian Quest for the Spear. There's no question that this movie owes an enormous amount to movies like Indiana Jones or Romancing the Stone. You are about to begin a, a wondrous adventure from which you will never be the same again. Flynn Carson is a uh, roughly 33-year-old individual who has spent most, if not all, of his life in the world of academia. You know, I've never worked in a library before, but isn't this a lot of security for some books? This is the most secure place on Earth. You'll soon see why. <laughs> the plot hinges on the fact that there's a, a robbery, a burglary in the library. They took the Spear of Destiny. It's the spear that supposedly pierced the side of Jesus on the cross. And legend holds that whoever has any portion of the spear could possibly control the fate of the world in their hands. It's actually true that one of the first things Adolf Hitler did when he came to power was loot, I think it was the Habsburg Museum, and steal what was believed to have been a portion of the Spear of Destiny. It is also true that when the Allies invaded Berlin and they took back the Spear of Destiny was the day that Hitler supposedly committed suicide. We find this magical, special library that is filled with all the mysterious artifacts of, of our history. Okay, this is all impossible. <clears throat> and might I add, very impossible. But when one of these artifacts gets stolen, it's up to him to bring it back. The fate of the world is in my hands. Well, Noah Wiley, as an actor for this role, He's a perfect fit because he's literally the most prepared actor I've ever worked with. This ends right before we get to the death rate. Yeah, okay. and that's the next piece. Want to run it? Yeah. In a way, yeah. he approaches his role the way his character approaches life. He has to know everything about it. He has to be fully educated. But I think what's going to shock people, because it shocked us, is his incredible comic timing. Hello, another person here. A little consideration, please. I mean, when you think of his character from ER, you don't really think of him as a funny guy. But he shows a whole side of himself that you've never seen before. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Maybe I'm not as smart as I thought I was. Nobody talks about the librarian like that, not even the librarian. I think that this will redefine for people who know what Wiley is as an actor. The script is full of a lot of special effects, and with Dean Devlin sort of heading that up, I figured we were in good hands. This is the first time I've ever made a, a film in HD, and, and it's been really interesting to see what you can do. Some of my all-time favorite people are in this movie. Olympia Dukakis, Jane Curtin, Kyle MacLachlan, Bob Newhart. Bob Newhart has, for the first time in his entire career, an action sequence. I hope they see the, the fun that we had doing it. I, and I think they will. Now, this will be reminiscent of movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark, which are just sit there and eat your popcorn with a big grin on your face, and you can't believe that you get to feel like a kid again. Noah Wiley in the librarian quest for the spear.